time is needed to set up the mechanics, and whenever that happens, some tinkering could occur as well. But it looks like Kentucky will join 37 other states that permit medical marijuana on paper in about 10 days on the ground in a year and nine months. It'll be slow sailing along uncharted bluegrass waters because it will take nearly two years to implement medical marijuana in Kentucky. I wish it could happen sooner, but this is such a monumental step in the right direction for the patients of Kentucky that we'll take what we can get here. They'll get Governor Andy Bashir signing it into law once the House approves as expected at the end of the month. Then the Cabinet for Health and Family Services will get to work. Regulations will be set up for licensing, policies for growers, ground rules for dispensers, how to obtain a medical card. Very Enough state lawmakers issue. are on board this time. If, They've heard from veterans about PTSD and other Kentuckians about relieving pain. And the only thing they found that would give them relief was medical marijuana. So really it came down to one word for me, compassion. One word that won't fly is smoking. Lawmakers were clear about prohibiting a smokable product. Another word they tense up about is recreational. The people that I talk to that are for this, when you really press them on the issue, they're also for recreational marijuana. Senator John Schickel voted against the bill despite the urging of friends to let Kentucky give it a try. I'm worried about the societal impact again, John. When I look at the other states that have tried this, I don't think it's been very successful. You will not be able to grow your own under the current language, but who knows how that language will grow or shrivel during the 2024 session. We will refine it over time and make it as good as a policy as possible for the people of Kentucky. Now, some of the six new Kentucky senators ran on a pro-medical marijuana plank. Some of the old guard finally came around and saw the benefits. State lawmakers will have the benefit of results from a UK study next year if they want to make adjustments, but proponents believe once implemented, there's no going back. John London, WWT News.